Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Saya Syed Yusri bin Syed Isa Atau lebih dikenali dengan Mr. Syed Jom masuk ke kelas Mr. Syed Hashtag ilmu yang diamalkan Jangan lupa like, share, subscribe channel Mr. Cikgu There once was a cute little mouse. His name was Tiny. He was smaller than his other mouse friends, but more intelligent. Tiny was in the forest one day looking for food when he saw a mango. He tried to carry the mango, but it was too heavy. Tiny tried and tried, but nothing happened. A hungry and very dangerous snake sitting in the mango tree, saw the mouse and said, I can help you carry the mango, little mouse. I can carry it in my mouth. Tiny knew that the snake wanted to eat him. He was very scared. Leo the lion heard the snake talking to the mouse. That snake is going to eat the little mouse. I'm going to save it thought the lion. The snake opened its mouth to eat Tiny. Leo was behind the snake now. Don't touch the little mouse, Leo said. He picked up the snake and threw it far away. Tiny was very scared. He hid behind the mango. Leo picked up the mango and Tiny with his big claws and opened his big mouth. Module 8. Story time. Tiny and Leo. Part 1. 1. Who are Tiny and Leo? Listen and read. Siapakah Tiny dan Leo? Jom kita baca. Once was a cute little mouse. His name was Tiny. He was smaller than his other mouse friends but more intelligent. Tiny was in the forest one day looking for food when he saw a mango. He tried to carry the mango, but it was too heavy. Tiny tried and tried, but nothing happened. Ada seekor tikus kecil yang sangat comel namanya Tiny. Dia sangat kecil berbanding dengan tikus-tikusnya yang lain. Tetapi dia sangat bijak. Tiny sedang berada di hutan dan sedang mencari makanan. Dan dia ternampak sebiji buah mangga. Dia cuba untuk membawa mangga tersebut tetapi terlalu berat. Tiny cuba dan cuba tapi tak ada apa-apa yang berlaku. Tak bergerak pun buah mangga tu. A hungry and very dangerous snake, sitting in the mango tree, saw the mouse and said, I can help you carry the mango, little mouse. I can carry it in my mouth. Tiny knew that the snake wanted to eat him. He was very scared. Ada seekor Ular yang sangat lapar dan sangat berbahaya yang sedang duduk di atas pokok mangga dan ternampak uh, tikus itu dan berkata, Saya boleh bantu kamu untuk bawa buah mangga tersebut, tikus kecil. Saya boleh bawa ia dalam mulut saya. Tiny tahu yang ular tersebut nak makan dia. 
Kedai ni berasa sangat takut. Leo the lion heard the snake talking to the mouse. That snake is going to eat the little mouse. I'm going to save it, thought the lion. Leo seekor singa terdengar ular itu sedang bercakap dengan tikus tersebut. Ular itu nak makan tikus kecil itu. Hmm, saya nak selamatkan dia, kata singa tersebut. The snake opened its mouth to eat Tiny. Leo was behind the snake now. Don't touch the little mouse, Leo said. He picked up the snake and threw it far away. Ular itu buka mulutnya dengan luas untuk makan Tiny. Masa itu, Leo berada di belakang ular tersebut. Jangan sentuh tikus kecil itu, kata Leo. Singa itu ambil ular tersebut dan terus balingnya jauh. Tiny was very scared. He hid behind the mango. Leo picked up the mango and Tiny with his big claws. And opened his big mouth. Tiny berasa sangat takut. Tiny bersembunyi di belakang buah mangga tersebut. Leo mengambil buah mangga dan Tiny dengan menggunakan kukunya yang tajam dan buka mulutnya. What will happen? Apa akan jadi?